Good evening. Good evening, guys. Oh my God, I why do I see so few people? All right, never mind. More people are coming. How are you? How was how was your day? How's everything? Good That's evening. Very fine. It's 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 good. All right, great. All right. That's very fine. All right, it was fine. Okay. Very, very fine. You don't say very fine. That doesn't exist. You can say it's uh, excellent, okay. right? You can say it's excellent. It was excellent. Yeah, you can say it was excellent. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So, oh, I'm sorry. I do not have my camera turned on. Hello. All right, guys. So, anyways. Um. So, what's good, guys? Good evening. Good evening. What's up? How are you? How was work? All good? Nice. All right. I went to the barber shop today. They did a good job. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's wait for everybody to join today, guys. So welcome, Miriam, Elisa Vedana, Lisette, Jose. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. All right, so I, I, I hope to see 30 people today, guys. All right, so let's see. Let's see how that goes. So tell me, guys, tell me, give me good news, something positive that happened to you today. Nothing, nothing positive happened to you today? Nothing, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. All right. We're good. Um, all right, guys. So let's give everybody else a couple of minutes. Anyways, uh, guys, uh, remember, guys, turn on your cameras, please. So so, so we all have fun and, and you can uh, participate in the activities that I have for you, okay? In which you're going to, you know, we have to see you so we can, so we can uh, have fun. Elsie. Hello, Elsie. How are you? Rebecca. Hello, Susanna. Hello, teacher. How are you? So what do you do for a living, guys? That what do you do for a living, guys? Do you understand what that means? What do you do for, for a living? Do we know what that means? That is asking, guys, a que se dedican, okay? So what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Um, uh, Cesar, Cesar, what do you do for a living? Mm, well, I am full, uh, a full-time student. Oh, you're okay. All right, that's good. Yeah. Well, what do you study? Uh, I my major is geophysics, so um, I study um, in the University of El Salvador. Geophysics, nice. Yeah. True. That's awesome. That's that's very fancy. That's very interesting. You, you, you might be pretty smart, huh? You must be pretty smart. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, Karen, welcome, Ivan. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. We're going to start now, guys. So we're going we're gonna to continue where we left off yesterday, okay? And yesterday, guys, what were we talking about yesterday? Uh, we're talking about other other or frequency. <laughs> Okay, we were talking about adverbs of frequency. Okay, so today, guys, is going to be more activity, okay? Because I, I want to evaluate you and I want to give you feedback. So we have two things to do, okay? You're going to solve this exercise, okay? I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to give you 10, 12 minutes to finish these exercises. And then um, I have an activity for you in which you are going to talk. I'm gonna listen to you and I'm gonna give you feedback on the spot, okay? What we're gonna what we're gonna practice, guys, is talk for one minute. Well, actually, since it's 30 of you, we're gonna talk for 30 seconds without making any mistakes, okay? All right. And we're gonna evaluate your grammar, your fluency, your uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, and intonation. Okay, so I'm gonna evaluate five areas, okay? Um aside from that, guys, uh, I do have another small activity there okay anyways 
So right now, guys, uh, I'm going to create breakout sessions and you are going to solve these exercises using the right adverb of frequency, okay? All right, so whatever is in bracket, guys, is what you have to do. Do you know what brackets are? Actually, parentheses, okay? These are the parentheses, okay? So for example, guys, number one, our teacher, Miss, Mrs. Jones, what is the adverb of frequency here? All right. Never. Never. All right. Never be. Okay. So the answer, what, what is the answer here? Never. Is never, right? Never. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. So that's what you're going to be do, doing right now. All right. Is that is that clear, guys? Do we have any questions? Clear? Clear, yeah. clear, clear. All right. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you. All right, then. So I'm gonna divide you into breakout rooms right now. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hello, okay, hello. so I think I think we're good now. All right, guys, let's go. I'm gonna send. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group, guys. That's where you're gonna see these exercises. Okay, these exercises. All right. All right. Go ahead, guys, and join the breakout rooms. All right, guys, uh, are you there? Anna, Marcella, Yvonne. Astrid, Jose, all right, let, let's join the breakout sessions, guys. Karen, are you there, Karen? All right, guys. Hey, uh, Jose. Hello, Jose. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. All right. Uh, you should be joining a breakout session right now. Okay. Uh, Astrid, Anna, Francisca, are you there? Astrid? All right, very good. Uh, Jose. Teacher, yes. All right, uh, I'm gonna say this in Spanish, okay? He creado grupos en los que ustedes se tienen que unir. Les tiene que haber aparecido ahí. Tiene que aparecerles ahí un botón para unirse, okay? Okay, teacher. Yo cuando iba a presionar me desapareció. Oh, okay, right. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna try to move you over to a different room. No Spanish, you cannot speak Spanish here, okay? <laughs> I am speaking just so you can understand, but all right. Very good, okay. Hold on, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna restart the rooms again, okay? Hold on. Give me one second. I'm bringing everybody, everybody back here again so we, can, so we can rearrange this, okay? Guys, I moved you back here. I'm sorry I brought you back here, but I need to rearrange everything because a lot of you were not joining, okay? So uh, I'm just rearranging everything. All right, so um, let me recreate the rooms, okay? All right. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to recreate the rooms, guys, because not all of you were here. So I apologize. All right, very good. I see less people now. We were 21, I mean, we were 20 now, we're 19. Anyways, guys, okay, good luck. Let's join again. There you go, guys. Thank you.
Claudia, Astrid, Stephanie, Lisette. Hello, Edwin. Welcome back, sir. Let's join. Edwin, Astrid, are you there, Astrid? Hello, Astrid. All right, Astrid uh, and Edwin, you work together, okay? Karen, hello, Karen. I think you're having issues with your internet, huh? I moved you, uh, I moved you into another room. Karen Renata, welcome Karen Renata. Teacher, excuse me, my partner, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't work in the microphone. I, I, I think. Oh, oh, the microphone is not working. Okay, all right. Well, uh, try to communicate through WhatsApp then. Meanwhile, uh, right now you're just doing a, this exercise so you don't really have to talk too much, right? You can you can use text messages. So, but I do need you to join the breakout sessions, okay? Necesito, guys, que todos se unan a la sesión que les abrí cada uno, right? Yes? Okay, hey, so uh, right now, how how we need, how we need to join? Yes, Rain, uh, les acabo de enviar, te, te tiene que haber aparecido ahí, un botón para que le des unir, y ese unir te va a llevar a la sesión. No. Con tu pareja, no? No, no. Karen Renata, let's see. Right, I'm gonna, te voy a mover a otra, a ver si te sale, te sirve ahorita. I see, I see, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. All right, same, same with you guys. Hello, Francisco. Francisco, are you there? In la forma correcta. ¿Cierto? En la forma correcta. En la forma mm -hmm. correcta lo vamos a usar. Mm -hmm. o sea, Beautiful Spanish. <laughs> no Spanish. All right, Mel, hello. <laughs> no Spanish allowed here, okay? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Vaya, entonces. Vaya, entonces, that's not English. <laughs> no siento, no siento. Teacher, in number two is, uh, I often clean my bedroom on the weekend. Yes, that, that sounds correct. I have no idea what the answer is, but that sounds correct. That sounds like a good answer. Because I don't, I don't know which what the exercise says. Uh, let me let me check. I often clean my bedroom at the weekend. Yeah, that's right. That is absolutely right. Any other question, girls? Or are we good? Yes, we we only need to divorce. You need to do this in your notebook, and you need to, you, you know, you need to to choose the right. Uh, the right adverb of, of uh, frequency. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. Thank you. No Spanish, right? Mm. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Susana. <laughs> All right. Good luck, girls. Thanks. Thank Hello, girls. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Do you have any questions? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Uh, no questions? Yes, for number one. in the six. Uh -huh. Number six, okay. What about number six? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, no, no Spanish. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm serious, no Spanish. You're not supposed to speak Spanish here. So try it, try it. Bye. And I'm okay. <laughs> right, I, I, I will help you, okay? I'm, 
All right, just try, go step by step, you know, take small steps, right? And if you have issues, I will grab your hand, right, and help you, all right? But try, you need to start trying, okay? Take baby steps, ask me, try to ask me the question. Uh, the question is, the question is uh, never uh, and play. Uh, okay. The sense is you, you and Tony never play computer games with me. Is correct? Yes, okay. You good, see, you can speak. All right, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that is the right answer, yes. All right. Tony uh, and... The, uh, you and Tony never play computer games with me. You are right. That is right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Any other question? We're good? No. All right. Very good. All right. I'll leave you to it then, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. You're doing great. Okay, thanks. There <laughs> hardly ever here. My brother hardly ever helped. Yes, my brother hardly Help ever helped. with my homework? With my homework, yes. That's correct. Any, no. any questions, guys? All good? Not yet. All good. Not yet? Okay. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. All right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello guys, any questions? Hello, teacher. Hello. Do we have any question? No, we're good? I, I can't hear you. You, you. you sound very muffled. Uh, could you please repeat that again? I cannot share my screenshot. You cannot chat, you cannot share your, your screen, you mean, share. Okay, uh, but okay, if you can't share your screen, then uh, take a look at the WhatsApp, uh, uh, you know, take a look um, at the WhatsApp group. You'll find the image over there, okay? So you can, you don't need to share the screen, right? You need to take a look at the image. So the image was sent to the WhatsApp group. Got it? Yeah. I, I can't speak in Spanish. Nope, you can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, okay, try to speak English. And if you can't say something, all right, just, you know, take baby steps, you know, take baby steps, right? Toma paso de bebé, take baby steps, right? And if you're running into too many issues, si te da mucho problema, right, decir algo, I'm gonna grab your hand and help you, okay? Voy a darte la mano y te voy a ayudar, got it? Okay. All right. Hold on. You're, you get, you need to get closer because I can't hear you too well. Okay. There you go. I cannot shut it because, uh, how do you say, uh, it kicks me out like this. It kicks me out. It kicks me out. Yes. Oh, it kicks you out? Really? Okay. Yes, uh, is the reason uh, because I cannot my screenshot. Okay, right, I got you. Uh, I was saying, do not worry, okay? Don't, don't worry about that uh, because I sent everything to the WhatsApp group. Envié todo al, al grupo de WhatsApp. So, no te necesitas preocupar por eso, right? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, thank you. So, so let's work together. I don't know if Ivan's microphone is working or not. But if it is, you know, just work on your own, okay? All right? Thank you very much. You. Ivan, do you have any question, Ivan? No. All right, very good, guys. Keep, keep, keep at it. Thank you. Okay. Para poder dar. Hello, girls. How are you doing? Do you have any questions for me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, do you have any questions? No, teacher. No, All teacher. Right. Awesome then, all right? 
then I'll leave you to it, and then uh, I'll we'll, we're gonna go back later to the main session, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you later. Oh no, it's finished. Well, no, no, it's not. Hello. No, 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 no. No, no I'm just Sorry. checking. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Uh, Tell me. Yes, we have a question for you. Uh, and the uh, the verb to be is before or uh, after, after or the no, oh, then of the adverb. In what exercise? What exercise are you talking about? Uh, for example, um, number four, seven, seven. Ah, okay, seven. number seven. Uh, uh, okay. or, or number four. Uh, the waiter uh, needs a new. The new shirt, the one he's wearing. Oh, I'm sorry, that's that's not it. I'm sorry. What the hell am I reading? Uh, okay. Uh, hold the on. number seven. You usually are, or you are usually. You are. Uh, you are usually. Are usually. Uh -huh. And yeah. the and the four uh, exercise is I am sometimes. Yes. I am some. Okay. Uh, what what is number one? Uh, no, no, no. Number four. Uh, number four. Uh -huh. yeah. Exercise number four. I am sometimes bored in the the math lessons. Uh, let's see. What is number four? Uh, I. Uh, I. Okay. I am sometimes bored in uh, math lessons. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a question. Tell me. When we found a uh, bird to be. The verb to be is before adverb or and then of the adverb. Well, it depends on the adverb, but in this case, you know, uh, for example, where is where do we have an example with the verb being here? All right, number four, right? Okay. Right. So uh, sometimes goes after the verb being. And the for example, uh, adverb you always. Say, you can say he's always, he's never, he's sometimes. All right, so it always goes after the verb be. You can use other adverbs as well, other other adverbs of frequency, okay? Because if you know there are other there are other adverbs which fall uh, into a different position, right? But now if we're talking about adverbs of frequency, this is the the position they fall into. The adverb frequency is after the verb to be, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Or no? Yes. Yes, it is after the verb be. Yes. Okay. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Thanks Thank to you. you. All right. If you come across any other question, please let me know. Okay. Thank you. Thanks Thank to you, you, girls. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello, I already teacher. checked you. How are you doing? All good? Did you finish? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Now, practice. Okay. All right. I I'm still checking on the other groups right now. Uh, so if you finished, practice in English, okay? No Spanish. All right? Okay. All right. Teacher, teacher. Tell me. Le, le voy a decir en español. No. ¿sí? Mm -mm. Es que no, es que solo le voy a dar una razón. De que yeah. estos meses, estos módulos anteriores no hemos podido soltar la lengua porque los profesores eh, nos han fallado mucho. De verdad se oh, lo digo. Really? Entonces, eh, hay, hay una profesora que hablaba de su perrito, de sus vacaciones, de su vida, de que dónde vivía y cosas así. Y entonces mm. no hubo integración de poder hablar. Igual otro profesor que solo daba clase, 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 clase y no nos dejaba practicar. Entonces, mm. ahorita, no y con este, práctico, este mes ¿no? que hemos tenido de pasado, créame que me está costando. Vea, que la siento pegada a la lengua. Right. Así que, paciencia, paciencia. I'm patient, but no Spanish, all right? Okay, okay. Because then that's the thing. Uh, if you speak Spanish, you're never going to learn, right? Yes. Yeah, you need to force your brain, right? So, I mean, I'm patient. I mean, if, like for me, you know, um, what would you prefer? Would you prefer me not caring that you speak Spanish or me forcing you to speak English? What no, do you do, prefer? I like very much, do you only speak English? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes I don't understand. Really? Yes, it is. But I try and and I try. All right, very good. Now it, it, it happens, okay. Um, but how do you feel the class so far? How, how do you feel? How do you feel this one in comparison to the other ones? No, I like it very much. 
All right, nice, nice, okay. All right. Sí, uh, lo, lo que te estaba diciendo es que no dejo que hable en español. All right, the, the reason why is because te, te fuerza, te fuerza, te fuerza el cerebro, te fuerza, right? Te fuerza, uh -huh. I don't know, uh -huh. I, right? So it forces your brain to speak, you know, in the language, right? That's that's what it is, right? Anyways, thank you, right? Thank you for bringing that up, all right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. I am checking on the other uh, guys right now, so just practice, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Do we have any question? No, teacher. All right. Only, only I have a question about the, well, in, in the verb B, uh, let me, my camera. So, uh, right. when. When you have the verb be, uh, the frequency upper is uh, after the verb. Because yes, it is. It is after. All right, it is after the verb be. Yes. Okay, but when you have a action verb, the the frequency upper is before the verb, right? Uh, it, yes, it's because so it's it is a frequency. Necessary. It is because it is a frequency adverb. If it isn't a, there, you know, adverbs fall into different positions. If it is a frequency adverb and you're using the verb be, it will fall after, uh, you will need to place it after the verb be. So for example, you can say, he is always, he is never, I am always, I am never, you are always, you are never, you're often, etc. right? After the verb be. So in, in the, in the action verb, you you said, for example, uh, for example, uh, often clean, right? So, uh, or hardly ever helps, right? Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. That is okay. correct. Yeah. That is correct, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question, guys? Are we good? Okay. Very good. Very good, guys. I'm gonna check on the rest. Yeah, Monday. In Monday to. Hello, guys. Do you have any questions? Uh, oh. Yes, I have one question, baby, uh, okay. about when when the adverb describe the verb because uh, in that exercise, all, all the sentence, uh, exception one two sentence that with verb to be, if the adverb is after the verb to be, that clear for me that the other one, uh, the adverb is before the verb. When when we recognize uh, the the adverb describes the verb. So adverbs. That, that part is not clear for me. Okay, right. All right, I understand. Uh, all right. So adverbs fall into different positions depending on the type of adverb. If we're talking about adverbs of time, and you're using the verb be, it comes after the verb be, right? So you say. I am always, he is always, he is never, he is often, right? That is with the with adverbs of frequency. Now, if you if you if you see the other examples, okay, what other examples do we have? Uh, number one, right? For example, our teacher, Miss Mrs. Jones, okay, Mrs. Jones, uh, and then B, we got the verb B, right? Mrs. Jones is never, right? Uh, I, all right. Now, if you're gonna if you're gonna use it. If you're not going to use the verb be, if you're going to use a regular verb, it will come before the verb. So you say, he often cleans the room. All right? So uh, that's how you the, would say. In the number two, teacher? Yes, in number two. I mean, okay. not in number two, guys. I'm explaining to you the general rule, okay? It could oh, be, okay, okay, right? Okay. If you see, if it yeah, doesn't yeah. have the verb be, but it has the, ver the, the, uh, the verb instead, then it comes, you know, before, right? Anyways, we're going to go back Four. now. Go ahead. Okay, okay. okay, okay. And I'm okay, going to explain this okay. to everybody, okay? All right. Bye. I'm going to <laughs> All right. Welcome back, guys. All right. Hey, we got we got more people now. 24 people. Yay. All right, guys. Hey, guys. I, I came across a very common question, and thank you for bringing that up, okay? Um... I hold on. hold on.
Okay, guys. So, um, so I have I have a I have a speech activity today. Now, one question I came across here. Let me pull up the the uh, the test here, the test, the exercise, guys. Okay. All right. So let me pull up the exercise here. So one question I came across a lot, guys, is this. Okay, the position of the adverb. And very good question, guys. I like that question, right? It is super important. Okay. All right. I'm gonna explain it to you with examples, guys. Um, let's talk about, do you wanna talk about the verb be first or any other verb? Which example do you want first? The verb be? With the verb be. The verb right, be. Okay, all right. So let's talk about adverbs of frequency, okay? Now, remember guys, adverbs, there are, there are, there are thousands of adverbs, okay? There are, there are multiple types of adverbs. Adverbs fall into different positions. However, if we talk about adverbs of frequency, there are some rules, okay? For example, okay, the verb be, okay? The verb be, guys. Now, here, guys, what you do is you place this before the verb, okay? For example, you can say Cheyenne, right? Let's, think, let's talk about Cheyenne. <laughs> All right, Cheyenne, um, Cheyenne often sings new songs, you know? All right, so you can say this, guys, okay? Now, let's break this down, guys. Let's break down the structure of this, okay? So notice, guys, all right, notice that uh, often will fall here. One thing that it never that never happens, guys, you're never gonna start with the adverb, okay? So a common mistake we make as he's saying always Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne uh, sings new songs. All right, this is incorrect, guys. You're not gonna start with an adverb, okay? Anyways, with that out of the way, guys, okay? All right, uh, Cheyenne, guys, what is Cheyenne in grammar? Subject. A noun. This is the subject, and the type subject. of subject is a noun, right? Very good. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, then, what is often? Adverb. Adverb. Right, this is the adverb, okay? All right. What is sings? The verb. The verb. All right. Verb. So, this is the verb in third person, right? And new songs, guys, that would be the? Compliment. All right. So, this would be compliment. the compliment, okay? Very good, guys, okay? So this is how you break it down, see? All right? So what position do we have here? We have the adverb first, right? So we got the adverb modifying the verb. So if you see, guys, this comes before, right? Now, I'm sorry, I, I'm not even talking about the verb here, okay? So let's let's change this, guys, to, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's scratch this up, guys, over here, all right? This is not the verb, you guys. I cannot erase this, so let me do something creative, okay? All right, so this is, guys, I forgot that we were talking about the verb. This is uh, regular verbs, okay? So we're talking about uh, adverbs with verbs, okay? Regular verbs, right? Uh, so with adverbs, with verbs, guys, this is the position they fall into. They, go, they come before the verb, all right? Now, if we're talking about the verb be, all right, now let's talk about the verb be, right? Adverbs. Uh, with verb be, all right? Now here, guys, you guys give me an example. Or you can give me one example uh, from the, the exercises that we were practicing just now. Hey, teacher. In this case, uh, they... The, the what? They. Okay, I, uh, I sometimes be very in the math lesson. All right, very good. I okay. I am sometimes. I am sometimes bored. Very good. Uh -huh. I am sometimes bored. Right, bored. Bored like this. I am sometimes uh -huh. bored. Okay, all right, very good. I am sometimes bored, guys. Okay, now let's break this down. All right. All right. What do we have first? What is this? Subject. No. Subject. No. All right. no. This is a subject and no, this is not a noun. This is a subject and this is a pronoun. Oh, yeah. All right. Very good. All right. So we got we got the subject. All right. That's great. All right. And what is this? 
Verb. Verb. B. Okay, B. this is the verb B, right? Sometimes. What is that? Adverb. Right, adverb. This is an adverb, right? Okay, and then we have board, which would be the complement. Now, guys, in what position, when we use the verb B, guys, in what position do you see? The before adverb? the adverb. Before. All right. The verb, well, well, the verb B comes before the adverb, right? But the adverb comes second. So <clears throat> when you use the verb B, guys, the adverb comes second. <clears throat> oh my God. And when you use, uh, and when you use a regular verb, the adverbs comes first. Got it? Sorry. Repeat, please, teacher. David, uh, teacher David, it's, sorry, it's boring. It's a verb. Hello? All right, guys. Guys, guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Bored is a verb. Uh, bored is not a verb. That is not the verb that we're modifying. That that bored is an adjective, by the way. David. Tell me. I, I guess that in the in the case uh, we 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 have the the verb be, so the adverb is uh, describing the adjective, right? The the adverb. Um, I don't know what example you you got. Yes, an, an adverb can modify an adjective. Um, so if you say he's always busy, you're describing the adjective. Yes. He's always bored. Yes, you're describing the adjective. All right, very good. All right, so verb B, guys, this is another example, right? Position one, position two, all right? When we use the verb B, when we use any other verb, all right, let's go like that. All right, for example, uh, he always, see, always runs, okay? He always runs, right? So here, guys, if you do this, position uh, position two and position one here, see? You have a verb here, the verb be, and then you have the, uh, the adverb here, see? But now here you have the adverb, and then here you have the verb, okay? So think about this, okay? You're always gonna put it, you're, gonna, you're always gonna put always, okay, in the first position before the verb, except with the verb be, all right? Does that make sense? All right, very good guys, very good, okay? Now let's, let's take a look at uh, your answers, okay? Let's see what you got. All right, so number one, guys, our teacher, Mrs. Jones, blah, 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 never late for, uh, never be late for lessons. What is the answer here? Our never. teacher, Mrs. Jones, is never. It's never. All right, very good. Never. It is never, right? Never, ever. Thank you, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Number two, guys, what is the answer for number two? I often, I often clean. clean. I often clean. Okay, I often. Very good. Clean. All right. Very good. I'm using a mouse, guys, so excuse my handwriting. <laughs> um, all right. Number three, guys. What is number three? My brother. My brother. My brother. Hardly ever helps. My brother. My brother. Hardly ever helps. Ever helps. Okay. Very good. Number four. I'm sometimes. I am sometimes. I am sometimes. Very good. I am, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Right? Sometimes. Right? Anyways, I am sometimes, right? We rarely watch. We rarely, repeat guys, rarely. We rarely, 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 rarely watch. Okay? Rarely watch. Watch. You and Tony, right? You and Tony. You and Tony. You and Tony. Never, 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 play. never, never, play. never, 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 right? never, 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 play. 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 never, 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 you are never, 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 You are usually. never, 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 Always arrives. Okay, always arrive. Arrives right arrives because it is it's third person guys a half a past, past eight past good eight. job guys and applause for you guys that was outstanding thank you very much guys you did a great job all right yeah. tell me if, if, 
and excuse me, and maybe in the other exercise, uh, do you can allow? Uh, can you? I, hold on, Is let me correct you. Can you? Can you? Uh huh? Uh, allow? Uh, can share? We can share a screen in the rooms. Uh, okay. Are you trying to? Say, can we can we share our screen? Is that what you're trying to say? Can you share your screen? Yes, in the rooms, because yes, uh, yes, you can. Because uh, for practice and and we, uh, because for conversation. Because it is important for our conversation. Okay. Yes. Repeat, repeat, no, repeat. This is for you because it is important for our conversation. Because it is important. For the conversation. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Yes. Yes, guys. To answer your question, yes, Karen, you can share your screen on the breakout sessions. If you can't, it's because uh, you have to configure it from your cell phone or, or whatever you're using. Okay. But yes, uh, it does allow you to use the breakout sessions. Unfortunately, guys, I do not have the time to guide you on how to do that because uh, I have to deliver, deliver a class. But yes, to answer your question, yes, it is possible to do it. Okay. You have to figure it out. Uh, I suggest you guys watch a video on Google on how to do that. Uh, but yes, guys, you can, all right? All right. Um, anyways, guys, okay, so we gotta move on, guys. I have another, I have some more practice for you, all right? So I have something called, guys, a wheel of exercises, okay? So now, right here, guys, okay? So this is what we're gonna do, okay? Now, guys, before we jump into that, I need to, tell you I'm, I need to uh, to uh, teach you about making questions okay now guys the question that we're gonna learn today guys is this structure okay do or does right do or does right plus subject plus ever plus complement write it down guys okay plus question mark okay Right. So how do you make questions with uh, frequency adverbs? This is how you make questions uh, from frequency ad adverbs. OK, ever, guys, implies frequency. OK, you're asking, you know, about frequency. OK, that's it. If you see if you see, guys, the word ever, it means that you're asking about frequency. So, for example, guys, give me a subject. Anybody, give me anybody. Give give me a um, well. Someone, give me give me a uh, uh, an auxiliary, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. The auxiliary do or does? Does, does okay? Right. Uh, We're gonna talk uh, about uh, third person. Then. Does. All right. And then what? Does he? he does he? Very good. Does he? All right. What ever. else? Does ever. he ever? Very good. Does he ever? What What else? Oops. All right, does he ever cooks, guys? Is this correct? Cooks or cook? Yes. Cook, guys, because we have an auxiliary, right? Does he yeah, ever cook? cook? Question mark, right? Cook. And question mark here, right? Does he ever cook? Now, the answer for this, guys, you answer this with adverse of frequency, right? So what would be the answer here? What would be an answer? Yes, he does. Well, yeah, he... you're going to say yes, he does. <laughs> yes, right. I mean, uh, right. give me maybe, a full answer. He hardly ever. He uh, hardly can, ever cooks. He hardly cooks. Ever, cooks. ever cooks. Very good. Yeah. Okay, Betty, you were gonna say something, Betty. I'm sorry. No, Eva. I'm sorry. I'm I'm going to give you the answer, but that's right. He hardly ever cooks. Okay, right. very good. He hardly ever cooks. Can I say he always cooks? Can I say he never cooks? All right, very good, yes, guys. Sir. Do me a favor, guys. Everybody send me a question. I'm going to be asking all of you to uh, to give me a question with ever. All right, with this structure, guys. All right, can you hear me now? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. All right, very good. All right, so guys, you guys are going to give me an answer that you guys are gonna give me a question i'm sorry following this structure okay you're gonna follow this structure and you're gonna give me uh an example so send your example in the chat room guys okay 
All right. Very good. Francisco says, does she do the chores? Very good. Now, remember, guys, you need to follow this structure. Guys, I'm going to say this in Spanish. I'm sorry. Tienen que seguir esta estructura. Todo mundo me tiene que enviar un mensaje en el chat, guys. Con esta estructura, right? This la estructura que tenemos acá en pantalla. Got it? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, in this case, uh, the structure, structure, structure. The structure. Structure, structure. Yes. Uh, when, uh, when we use the uh, auxiliary do and does uh, uh, for a question, uh, we we always uh, have a use ever. But uh, in, in question, uh, we use a WH, uh, we can use a home, how how often for example no we how can use okay other, how how, other. how is a wh question already uh -huh, uh -huh. so you can't say what how right because no, no, you no, would no, have no, no. right so so now if you if your question is if you can say uh, if you can use a wh question with 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 doesn't ever is that your question no 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 but uh, in the Spanish? <laughs> no. <laughs> Teacher, in this case, when we use the auxiliary do and does mm -hmm. for a question, always we use uh, ever. Oh, okay. I, I got your question. You use ever only if you're going to talk about frequency. Ah. Uh -huh. But okay. we, we uh, hacemos preguntas. Make questions? Uh -huh. yeah, I, yeah, I asked. With, I, 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 with auxiliary do and does? Yes. OK. Yes, do and does. Yeah. Yes, you need you always need to ask questions with do and does if you're doing close-ended questions, right? All right. So can we use or CRB, right? So in, in the place or ever? I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Uh, uh, well, so uh, we can uh, put order uh, frequency arbor in the in the place of ever. Yes, uh, yes. For example, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can say, does he always cook? Does he never cook? All right. So yeah, you can you can do that. Yes, yes, right. Now the reason why we use ever, guys, because ever means it's it's general, okay? Ever means like puya alguna vez cocina. Got it? It's like saying that. Right? It, it's like less common others. It, it's general. It's general. It's general, okay? General. okay because okay, when okay. you say ever, you can answer with never, always, right? See, okay, when you okay. use ever, guys, the answer can be any of the frequency adverbs, okay? All right, does that make sense? Yes. All right, thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for bringing <laughs> thank that you, up. Thank you, Cesar. Let me check your examples, guys. Um, all right, so it says... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Francisco, does she do the chores? All right, well, that's you're missing ever there. Do you ever exercise? Do, does she ever study? Do you ever run? Does she ever play free fire? He always plays. Okay, very good. Do you ever work on Sundays? Not the Sundays, on Sundays. Uh, does she ever take a shower? Good job. Does he walk? Does he ever walk? Not walks. And you're missing the question mark there, Ivan. Good job. Uh, Edwin, do you ever watch TV? Yes. Uh, good job. Jose Carlos, do you ever have English, an English, well, an English, not a English, an English class at at night, okay? Uh, okay that should be, sure. The article should be an, not a. a. Uh, Ana Francisca, does she ever clean the yes, house? Sure. Very good. Stephanie, do you ever play basketball? Ivan, does he ever walk? Astrid, does you, does you ever? Do you ever? Teacher, Tell me. is baseball, no basketball. 
Oh, okay. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. All right. The age, right? La edad. Okay. All right. Uh, does he ever walk? Does you ever, do you ever? Uh, Claudia, do you ever eat meat? Yeah, all right, very good. Uh, Elizabeth, do you ever read a whole book? Good job. Anna, Rebecca, does he ever dance? He always dances. He always dances because it's third person, right? The answer would be he dances. Cesar, does she always cook delicious food? Okay. Susanna, does she play piano? Very good. Uh, Miriam, do you ever wake, wake up? Wake up. <laughs> there was a typo there. Uh, tell me, do you ever walk in the park? Good job, guys. And applause for you guys. You guys did an excellent job. All right. Very good. All right. Do you want to play now, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. It's a lot of you guys, so so 15 seconds, okay? So now, guys, the, the thing is that you will have to talk for 15 seconds, okay? 15, not 50, 15, one five, okay? All right, 15 seconds without making any mistake. So I have the wheel here, and this is what you are going to be doing. All right, can you see the screen? Yes? All right. So for example, I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna spin the wheel. And for example, the question here is, how often do you go out, okay? So for example, if I say, Miriam, how often do you go out? Oh, I never go out because I have a husband and he never allows me to go out because he's, you know, all right, whatever, that's just an example, right? I never have a time. Well, I never have time, right? Very good. All right, so anyways, give me a short answer, just, just 15 seconds, okay, the most, right? If you want to add some more information, right? So very good, guys. Are you guys ready? Yes, no, maybe, perhaps, tomorrow. Yes. All right, very good. Very good. Are you ever ready? Ah, see, another question, right? All right, guys, so let's see. I'm going to make everyone participate, guys. So Ana Francisca, right? This is for you, Ana Francisca. You have five seconds to answer. How often do you sing? Ana Francisca? I never sing, teacher. I never sing, teacher. Very good. Applause for Ana Francisca, guys. Good job, Ana. Thank you very much. All right, Ana Rebecca. Your turn, Ana Rebecca. Question. How often do you call your friends, Ana Rebecca? I always call friends. I always call my friends. Thank you. Good job. All right. Very good. Thank you, Ana Rebecca. All right. Uh, Astrid Lorena. All right. Let's see, Astrid Lorena. Get ready. All right. Everybody, you, you read, guys. Okay. I'm not going to read. Everybody, let's read this for Rebecca. I'm sorry, for, for, uh, for Astrid. How often do you go out? Very good. Everybody, how often do you go out? How often do you go out? How, how often good. do All you right. go out? All right. So let's answer that question, Astrid. Hello, Astrid. No? All right. Very good. All right. Betty, okay. So, Betty, the question is for you. How often do you go out, Betty? I hardly ever go out because I have two children and I have to do many things. Very good. Good job. All right. Very good. Well done. Well done, Betty. All right. Everybody, let's ask this question to Cesar. Cesar. Everybody, everybody repeat. How often does your family visit you? How often does your family visit you? How often does your family visit you? Yes. How often does your family visit you? Well, in my family, yeah, um, hardly ever visit me, right? So my family or, hardly ever visits me. Yeah, all right. that's, all, or... that's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. that's it. Thank you. A plus for Caesar, guys. Thank you very much, Caesar. Right? Very good, guys. Stop saying hardly ever. Use other adverbs, guys. Okay? Hardly ever. Is that the only one that we that I taught you? <laughs> No, right? Let's use the other one, right? Very good. Um, 
Claudia Ramos. Okay, Claudia Ramos. All right, let's see, Claudia Ramos. All right, so everybody, let's read together. How often do you see people cheating on their couple? How often do you see people cheating on their couple? How often do you see people Right. Do you know what cheating on means, guys? Cheating on the on the poner, <laughs> right? Ponerlos, right? Poner los cuernos, right? All right. So, uh, Claudia, Claudia, right? Let's go, Claudia. Uh, never. <laughs> I know how to cope. No, that's not the question. All right. How often do you see other couples? Okay. How often do you, uh, do you see people? All right. Cheating on their couples. Cuántas que tan seguido, right? ves a otras personas ponerle los cuernos a sus parejas? That's the question. Really? You have to give me a full answer. A full answer, um, okay? Complete answer. Uh, I don't remember the question. <laughs> I never, or I always, or I often, uh, I never. I never what? I never watch me. I never see. I never see. People. people. I repeat, I never see people cheating on each other. I never see people cheating the couple. Uh, on, <laughs> on their couple. There you go. All right. Very good. Applause, guys. Well done. All right. Very good. Thanks. That's such a lie. I always see people cheating on their couple. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, guys. Um, everybody, re repeat. Do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? Do you All you right. Ever okay. Sports? Next one, Criseida. All right, Criseida, let's answer this one. Um, I never play sports. I never play sports. Good job. Plus, guys, well done, right? Good job. Guys, it's it's 25 people, so uh, we're not going to have time to <laughs> to bring all of you guys to participate here. However, guys, um, uh, it's been great, guys. I had a lot of fun today, guys. Uh, how, how do you feel today, guys? How do you feel the the exercise today? Did you learn something new today? Yes, I guess it's I learned. All right. Yes, teacher. All right, all right, I'm glad, guys, I'm glad, okay? Um, anyways, guys, um, uh, we're, next next week, we're, all, we, we're also gonna have a class from Monday to Friday, okay? Do not forget that Monday to Friday, Friday. because we have to make up for the days that we lost. So we have to recover uh, Monday and Tuesday and, and Tuesday. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. No, oh, no, what? No. Yeah. Monday, 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 and, and, Monday Tuesday. And, and Tuesday, Tuesday, right? So today. Tuesday. So, so then after that, guys, we start coming from Monday to to to, to uh, Thursday, okay? <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm I'm bad doing calculations. That's why I teach English and not math. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, any questions, guys? Any comments? Anything, guys? Susanna, you're hot, right? She's just like, I want to take a shower already. Yes, guys. All right, guys. So um, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for everything. Um, um, you. I forgot. I was going to tell you something else. I just <laughs> forgot, guys. I'm very tired now. So uh, I think I'm going to go to sleep, guys. But I'll, I'll upload the videos, guys. Uh, so one of you, I don't know if it was this group or the other one, guys, but you were asking me for the link from the YouTube channel. Uh, it's always uploaded, guys. The class is always uploaded the same day, so you can watch it in two hours or the following day, right? But the link, guys, from the class, the link from, I'm sorry, from the YouTube channel uh, was sent to your email. But if you want, guys, if you don't have it, uh, I'll share the link. I'll share the list, you know, of um, the playlist on the WhatsApp channel so you can get access from it, okay? All right. Anyways, guys, thank you very much, guys. Have a very good night. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you, you on Monday. Thank you, thank you on Monday. Thank you, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye.